Do you think Bin Laden is evil? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was a a mass murderer. Um, I'm just saying that you know, his ideas were they're more complex than than we have tended to acknowledge. Um, they had they have a, a wider potential resonance than we would acknowledge. I mean, and also, I guess what I'm the just one fundamental point is that um, thinking about the complexity of Bin Laden is also a way of removing him from Islam. Um, he is not an Islamic thinker. He is a cosmopolitan thinker who plays in all kinds of modern ideologies, which have proven to mobilize people in the past, right? So, um, you know, anti-Semitism, um, populism, environmentalism, and the kind of, and the, the urging to like, you know, do something about humanity, do something about suffering. That's why I think the actual, you ask about like what motivates people to do this kind of stuff. I think that's why if one goes below the level of leadership, and this is being reported, if you look at the the trial ongoing now in Paris of uh, the Bataclan murders, I think, um, the court allowed some discussion of the backgrounds of the accused, and they come from different backgrounds, but if there's any common bond, it's kind of that they had some background in, in petty crime. Famously, in the 7-7 bombings in London, the... Metropolitan Police, you know, the UK authorities looked at all those guys. And what people want is this idea that like they must be very pious. They must be, you know, super Islamic to do this kind of stuff. They must be fanatical true believers. But what they found with those guys was that some were nominally Muslim, some went to mosques, some didn't. Um, some were single young guys with like criminal backgrounds. Some, you know, were like Sorry, they were you know, kind of misfits who never succeeded in anything. Uh, but others had, you know, at least one thing had a wife and family who he, you know, widowed and orphaned. And so there's no, I mean, f- for policing, I mean, if you're looking at it through that lens, there is no kind of typology that will predict who will become violent. And that's why I think we have to move beyond thinking about religious argumentation narrowly or by itself and think about things like geopolitics, think about how people respond to inequality, you know, the the existential threat of of, cri- of, of you know climate crisis, of um, a whole host of matters of and and think about th- th- this is a, a mode of political contestation. I mean, it's a violent one. It's one I condemn. It, it is evil, right? But it, these are people that are they're trying to be political. They're trying to change things in some way. It's not narrowly about like I want to impose Sharia law on you. You know, you must wear a veil. You must eat this kind of food. It's it's not that parochial 